Vasos and I am an LPC associate from the state of Texas. Welcome back, welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. So we are starting off this Days in the Life vlog a little bit different because we're starting it off from the weekend. And as a virtual mental health therapist, I take the weekends off so I don't work Saturday or Sunday. So we are going to be starting off this vlog from that perspective and then leading on into other work days. I really hope that you all enjoy this video. If you're new here, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button, liking this video, commenting down below. All of these things help support my channel so that I can keep creating videos for you all. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into this video. since 7 a.m. just getting ready for the day, going through my regular morning self-care routine. I have a new therapy client today, so I was helping get that situated. And so what is usual for me when I have a new client is I like to take at least 10 to 15 minutes to look through their intake, read their PHQ-9, their GAD. And for anyone who doesn't know, those are questionnaires that can help us see if someone is presenting with anxiety or depression symptoms and the severity of that. And these are just helpful tools that can help you measure, you know, throughout time to see if there's improvements. So that is something that I send to all of my therapy clients when they first sign up with me on our first session. So that way I can go ahead and have that information during session and we can go ahead and talk about it and check in on it. So before I go ahead and do that, I also thought I would open up a package with you all because I ended up ordering a ring light because I work from home and I tend to have evening sessions and I'm talking like the latest is like 7 to 8 p.m of an evening session it gets pitch dark here especially with the time change but overall it tends to be dark during that time and so i wanted to go ahead and order a ring light that i can attach to my 
my laptop and I didn't want anything bulky. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox this and set it up together. I also would like to pull my desk back because right now I have it right by the window. So I'm really excited about this ring light. It's like the little things, you know, that you get to add into your business, like the equipment that you use. It is always so fun and exciting. Okay. It is really small, which is great. So this is the ring light that I ended up ordering and I'll link it down below if I end up liking it, but the reviews were really good. So I'm excited. I mean, it's a ring light, you know, like I like that I have the different settings, like if you wanted white, natural or warm. Today I actually have two clients, which is the perfect day for me to do little things like this and get set up for the end of the year. I want to do some cleaning in the office and things like that. I'm going to be doing my client notes, all of the normal stuff, but it just helps when I have fewer clients on a day so I can record and share with you all. For the week, I'm still within my normal client range, which is seeing anywhere between six to 12 clients. And if I do that, then I am good. Let's go ahead and get started with setting everything up. Comes with this attachment. And then it comes with the instructions. Yeah. And so from the research I did, basically you can use this both ways. So you can directly clip it onto your laptop, which is what I'm thinking of doing, or you can also use the stand on your desk. Excuse my neighbor's dog. Thankfully, my EHR system, Simple Practice, it has like a noise canceling feature where it noise cancels in the back. And my clients have let me know that it really works. They can hardly hear anything when it's on. And I have to sometimes switch it off if I want to share like music or something with the client. But here's the head. And since I'm going to be using the clip attachment, I'm gonna go ahead and find that. So I'm gonna open Zoom really quick just to use that. Okay, you guys, so this is what it looks like. And right now I have it at the highest, brightest setting and I love that, it looks really great. And I love that you can also see you know, the little solecitos and the lunas behind me and you can see my bookshelf, the bottom tier. I love that. I will talk to you all later because I have to prep for my client session. Okay, everyone, so I just made lunch and I'm watching Legally Blonde in the background. And I also changed into a sweatshirt because it is chilly outside, which is the best. I'm going to try this Olipop for the first time. I'm gonna eat my tacos a la plancha with that and that'll be my lunch. And my mom and my sister are gonna come over for a little bit so we can have lunch together. And then after I'm gonna continue with work. Not gonna lie, my Delulu self was like expecting to be tasting fruit punch, but she is healthy, which is better for us anyway, but I love how I was <laughs> still expecting like to taste fruit punch. <laughs> Free. 
date night so we're gonna go grab something to eat and then we're going to our town's annual little Christmas festival I personally love going to the seasonal festivals here in my hometown it's always so much fun and it feels so nice to just be around community but I thought I could go ahead and also talk to you all about some of the things that I work on when I initially get clients and some of the things that I've been working on and so for example whenever I'm getting a new client and first just sussing out the situation right asking clients about their medical history when was the last time that they got any kind of lab work done because if a client is coming in presenting with something like depression like high depression maybe even SI you know I want to go ahead and just be thorough let me see if there's anything going on medically right and making sure that that's taken care of and sometimes from a lot of my clients i'll hear no i haven't gone to the doctors so i'll provide some psychoeducation for them and just talk to them about how that could be beneficial and just ruling out what's happening making sure that there's no kind of like vitamin d deficiency or like me right i have pcos if that is uncared for then i can be presenting with depression and anxiety symptoms so just to get to the root cause of what's happening so that is a conversation that i have with some of my clients that along this therapy journey of us working together i'm going to be getting to know them and their story while also just assessing you know what's going on and that's going to take a little bit of time the more i get to know them or if there's anything related to their environment going on because it has happened with some of my clients where the environment that they're in is what's causing a lot of these flare-ups with their anxiety or their depression symptoms we just got some crazy lighting let me go ahead and just flip you all over a little bit because there we go and so as i was saying it's really important for me to assess out especially the environmental factors and things contributing and that is one that i tend to see very much especially with si the more we assess out it tends to be very much environmental factors whether it be at school in the workplace with family you know the importance of relationships because culturally you know within the latina culture everything and who we are is connected within our community and relationships so if that is off for us where maybe clients are hearing or experiencing hurtful things from their mom from their dad from their siblings from family from friendships from partners all of these things can be leading to client experiencing high depression high anxiety and even si so that's something that i am paying attention to and that i'm trying to ask my client about and i'm always open with my client about this and letting them know hey you know i'm asking you these questions because i want to rule things out i don't want to have you going around in circles you know i want to make sure that we get you the best care possible and what you need and, and so i definitely go off of my client's pace for some clients they're not really in a rush or in a hurry to get to the bottom of things they just want their safe space to even be able to share things that they've never been able to share so as that's happening i'm making these notes you know on the side so that way during session i can go ahead and share the observations that i'm seeing with them and so usually my clients who have worked with me know this about me i'll go ahead and ask you know is this something that you more so want me to listen to or do you want me to share some observations with you where are you at and sometimes my clients will say yes please give me all the feedback let me know what's going on here and sometimes clients will say you know what i actually just needed to say that right and so then i respect that and then i let them know if you ever do want some kind of feedback you know i'll keep asking and also just let me know and i do this because a lot of my clients within their environmental system they lack healthy boundaries or their boundaries have just not been respected 
right and they haven't been able to communicate them and so in therapy i'm trying to create that environment for them so that it mirrors what they need because to my client's surprise right they find themselves crying for the first time in session or being able to share things that they've never been able to share with even the people who have known them for years because the environment lacks that validation and the safety that is created. So we're trying to create that and that can take time. For some clients that can happen in one session, for others it can happen after a couple months or even throughout years of working together because of the amount of trauma that they may have experienced. It takes time, you know, for them to be able to feel safe and know that, hey, my therapist is not gonna let me down. Like they're here to help me and to be able to gradually practice the things that they need to do outside of therapy. So I thought I would just go ahead and share like a little bit of my thinking process as a counselor and what we're doing. And it's always a celebratory moment when a client goes from high SI to we main modifications to the environment. And that's not always easy. That takes sometimes, especially like with adolescents, for example, having a good relationship with the family having a good relationship with the parents and making sure that i'm being respectful of them as well while also respecting my clients need my clients privacy and our relationship so there's you know that navigating versus when i'm only working with adults basically i also wanted to share this to normalize that it's okay for therapy to take time this is something that i always battled with internally you know my first year especially and even a little bit after of oh my gosh am i not doing a good job because you know we're taking a little bit longer working on these things and my supervisor always did a great job of reminding me and also creating a safe space for me of knowing that hey wait let's think about ourselves when we're working on things things take time and then we reflect on certain models that also mirror this and she's always done a good job of also reminding me like hey remember your approach and how those things go and your client's stories and she reminds me that it's good for me to even feel this way also because it means that i'm doing a good job as a therapist that i'm on top of things and that i'm questioning like hey could i be doing better for my client or am i being respectful of my client's timeline and my client's needs while well, yes sometimes challenging them and pushing them with kindness respect and gentleness mm -hmm.
lose till now What happens when the world ends? At least this is an okay bar For running into you It's an awful house And I wanted to get you out I'm working on a plan right now To come through I've waited for a lifetime for you to calm down Oh, nothing feels the same without you now I've waited for a lifetime for you to calm down Cause nothing feels the same So today is December 26. I do not know when the last time that I talked to you all was sometime in December and then I ended up filming as you all saw a little bit of footage during holiday week and the holidays continue because we still have New Year's and things like that but I wanted to end the vlog on this particular day because I have a nice to-do list to get through so as you all saw i went on a nature walk this morning i had supervision with my supervisor and we caught up and we reflected on some of the goals that i had for the beginning of the year versus now and kind of what i've learned throughout the year which was really good and so next up on the agenda is i want to go ahead and fill up my hour log because i'm trying y'all i'm trying to be better even though i only have like two months left to go clean my therapy office and declutter that is a big one that has to happen today we have to get things ready for Año Nuevo for new year to get everything decluttered and clean and organized and right now it is a hot mess express in here like it's just I have no words it's just so bad because I left everything all disorganized before Noche Buena before Christmas Eve so I have to go ahead and, and mop and all of that good stuff get a candle going in here make it smell good like get some good vibes in here you know what I mean I'm going to meal prep dinner and leave that meal prepped for the rest of the work week therapy notes I wrote down that I want to work on at least six check in on therapy clients who've canceled or haven't booked a session in a while which i already did and that is something that i specifically like to do like i'll send a client a text in case i notice you know what my client doesn't usually cancel let me check in on them let me make sure they're doing okay because you never know something could have happened or they could just be living their life you know you never know and either is okay but i always just like to do my due diligence and just check in make sure my clients are doing okay update my website that is something that i want to go ahead and gradually do in this new year so i updated part of it where i added new slots for therapy clients to book in the new year so in january and i already have some new clients scheduled to start but you just never know some clients kind of like start and then and so I don't really have things solidified yet until I'm able to see, you know, which clients are staying. So I like to at least open up like one to two time slots each month if I'm still taking on new clients just for them to be able to come in. Look at my five year career plan and update my business goals. So that's going to be fun to do because the new year is upon us and i don't have any crazy business goals you guys i'm honestly just living you know i am going through the usual i've set up my private practice i like the way things are so i honestly don't have any big projects or anything like that i think the biggest thing is i just want to add on to my website and create free resources for the community and have that on there for them to start the new year even if you don't want to do pro bono there's different ways that you can go ahead and help the community and it's okay to do what you need to do because i know my first year of launching my private practice like i did not do much i only did things that were within my capacity so i could focus on my private practice and so now that things are solidified you know i get to shift and think about what i want to do and not necessarily what others want me to do but what i enjoy doing i hope you all are doing well i know holiday season can have its good moments but also 
it's stressful moments for those of you in grad school i know there's a lot going on some of you might be prepping for graduation for testing so many different things but i hope you all are doing well and if you're not doing well i'm so happy that you're here and i hope this video can give you a little bit of comfort or inspiration or motivation thank you so much for being here i'm gonna go ahead and blast some music for myself because it's the only way okay it's the only way to clean so i'm gonna do that let's go ahead and get to cleaning what's the point in dreaming if i lose my voice the second i get caught by you i wanted you to know that I'm afraid But we can make it go away I hope you hear the things I say When I'm choked up next to you Okay, everyone so i thought i would go ahead and end the vlog here thank you so much for watching i got as much done as i could today and tomorrow is a new day so what i couldn't get done today i will go ahead and get done tomorrow but i hope you all enjoyed coming along for another days in the life vlog thank you so so much for watching and i also just want to take some time to thank you all for all the kindness and encouragement that you leave in my comment section it means the world to me i appreciate your support and i love the community that we've built on here i want to wish you all a good holiday season i am rooting for each of you so much and here's to 2024 i am really excited to continue to make videos to share with you all in the hopes of paving the way and making things so much more accessible for future therapists and training y'all are amazing take care and i will go ahead and see you in the new year in my next video bye everyone